We're here at the amazing Las Vegas Comic Con with its own, its founder, the founder himself, the man, the Hef A, Jimmy J. Hef A, Jimmy J. I kind of like the sound of that. That's I pretty mean, good. You know, I mean, I will give you money after the interview for for all that hype. I take know, so. all of the bribes. All okay, of them. right I, on. I have no shame. So tell us about this ridiculously cool event you have going on this weekend. You know, the amazing Las Vegas, Vegas Comic Con. It's awesome. I mean, I mean, that's awesome. I mean, I'm feeling the buzz. You gotta understand, it's like I am an old school fan. I went to my first Comic Con back in 1986. Mm -hmm. My mom uh, walked me up to the door. I mean, in, in San Diego Comic Con back then was probably even smaller than the event we're running now. I mean, just to give you a, a perspective on, on where we are as an industry. And so uh, she gave me 20 bucks. She said, "Make this last. You better make this last the entire day." Yeah. Well, you know what? That was you know about 35 years ago or so. Yeah. And so now I've been still trying to make that buzz last all that time. So, so you're still working on that same 20? Well, you know what, parlay, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, keep on reinvesting and reinvesting. I guess. You must have um, a good consigliere there helping no, you No, I, I wish. I wish. Uh, but all joking aside is that uh, if I didn't love comics, I wouldn't be doing this. We're running an event yep. that we would love to as fans. So. I hear you. So, so now, how, how did you get the decision to select all these uh, really awesome, talented people? Well, you know what? It's not a matter of selection. It's them selecting us. So we feel really happy, really blessed that they said yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, you know, I'm pointing to different people in the green room yeah. and stuff like that. That It's like we had Dave, Jason David Frank. He's the original Power Ranger, yeah. uh, Green Ranger. He's awesome. He's like, gentleman, great, you know, great with the fans. I mean, he's everything that you want in the Comic-Con guest. Ridiculously handsome dude. It's not fair. Dude, it's not Thanks, fair. Thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate yeah. it, guys. We, exactly. Hey, photo appreciate bomb it. This. Hey, there he yeah, is. There he is. David Frank. Is David What's Frank. Not too much. How you doing, Jason? Not to, not to steal your interview, Jimmy, no, 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 but please I think do. this please is do. just, uh, you, uh, I you know what, Jimmy, no. I, have a voice, I, 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 I like Jimmy. I think I have a Facebook for radio, though, Jason. So, so do I. I think, so it's okay. I think it's good. But, but Jimmy, I, I think it's a voice for radio, not a face for radio. It all works. It all works. All right. Well, you do the radio. I'll do the face. In fact, we'll pull a Millie Vanilli, all right? Okay, you I like it. You talk as me, and I'll move my lips. Girl, okay, you know it's go. true. Here We're we go. We're big fans of the amazing Comic-Con. Yeah. I endorse it fully. Okay, Come perfect. out to our next event. Awesome, Thank awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Subtitles, I like it. This guy, that was Jason David Frank, everybody. Yeah, the, photobombing the event. The original I mean, Green Ranger from but, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Did but, you just like pick a nerd map and just like hit like darts on it? You know what? Uh, it, yeah, we do. Yeah. But I mean, I know that, you know, like we're, we're joking around and things yeah. like that, but it's yeah. like, he's a good guy. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I like to be in business with good people that are good to their fans because I want to put on an event that I would have loved as a fan. Yeah. So, I mean, like Jason David Frank, he's got a ton of fans, you know, that are nostalgic from the Power Ranger days. Yeah. But it's also, it's like, he has fans from, you know, Shattered Grid, which is this, like, viral internet sensation. Yeah. You know, he's doing these, uh, you know, he's doing these uh, these uh, videos, like these Bat in the Sun videos. So it's like he's cultivating a new fan base and, and servicing the, the old, you know, tying in the comic books from, from the Boom Studios series. And that's what we're all about. I mean, like the other guests that we have here, you said Louis Tan, and we were, we were talking about Louis Tan earlier, but like Louis Tan started as Shatterstar in the Deadpool 2 movie. Yes, he did. And, uh, you know, the upcoming X-Forces and things like that. And that was a character that Rob Liefeld created. And we have Rob Liefeld, you know, yes. on the on the, uh, on the the floor. Yes, you so do. So it's like what we tried to do is build our events around uh, the huge elements of pop culture that are popular. And... Uh, that you know that are that are current that are going on now. Mm -hmm. Deadpool, Avengers: Infinity War. You know, with Avengers: Infinity War, we have uh, Jim Starlin. Who invented uh, that? He created Thanos, right? He created Thanos. Yeah. He created yeah. the Infinity Gauntlet, yeah. the Infinity War. He's the one that was responsible for it. So, what we like to do is shine the light on these comic creators, and at the same time of of pairing them up with media stars that you know, that reflect what's going on right. in greater pop cultures. Yeah, no, I totally get that. And it seems like you've got a nice mix of, like, comic book, nerd culture going on here. So I'm going to ask you a couple nerdy questions. Sure, uh, what, what gets you nerdy, man? What's the stuff that you look at and you say, man, that's the stuff I like? You know what? I mean, it's probably generic. It's, every, it's like everybody else. It's like if I see if I see a great trailer online, yeah. if I see, you know, a cool viral video, um, you know, I'm a weekly comic book guy, so I am, I am visiting the... You know the, the spinner rack every yeah. you know, every Wednesday. So, so I'm reading comic books and I, I'm just consuming all pop culture. That's good. That's good. Uh, who's your dream guest? Who's the dream person you want to get here? You know, I mean, like like a dream guest would have been like so, somebody like Stanley, but Stanley came on out to our show last year. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he did. I wasn't here, but I saw it. No, you know what? And, and, and he was great. He was fantastic. Yeah. I mean, 
you know, he still had his wits about him, you know. He did, he's still sharp yeah. as a tack, I'm going to tell you that right now. So, uh, you know what, I mean, it really is, what I want to do is just always reflect what was favored about the comics growing up for me, plus what's current now. So, again, like, we have guys like Liefeld, and we have guys like Scotty Young, mm-hmm. who's doing current comics, and, uh, you know, he's writing Deadpool now. Mm-hmm. So, again, it's these, it's these ties. Like, it's just keep on making more and more ties from pop culture to the guest list, back to pop culture because you know what if you're a hardcore fan you know like if you're a hardcore comic fan there's something for you if you are the person who hey just likes coming out and seeing the blockbuster movies there's something for you if you like you know you know if you are an internet junkie i want stuff for you you know if you like playing video games i mean that's why we have like street fighter and overwatch yeah you know personalities too yeah i noticed that because i was going to ask you about that there are some video game connections here and, and, and even me i'm not a comic book guy don't kill me, Internet. Oh. Uh, I'm more of a movie guy, and I'm more of a you know classics movie guy. But I'm here, and I'm seeing uh, you know I'm seeing people talk about the classic. Lewis Tan said he's a fan of the classics, and I you know picked his brain on but, that. You know, you know, what did you know, did he when he say classic? Is he talking like Super Tech Mobile, you know that type of classic, or is he talking like Hey Man, you know like like OG Atari? He's know? talking about of all the gin joints in all the places in all the world. She had to walk into mine. Oh, okay. So, okay. So, you know, you're, you're the you're true going, classics. Oh, okay. You mean like Casa and yeah. stuff? Okay. Gotcha. We, we had this conversation. It was good. It was good. You know what? Okay. I'm, like my first job was working at Blockbuster Video and I thought it was okay because I like seeing movies. Yeah. love seeing movies. Movies chunky. But put it this way. I like working in comic books a whole lot. It's, it's fun. It's real fun. It is. I, I guarantee you. Now, let me ask you a couple more nerdy questions. If you, what is your favorite film, Jim, of all time? All times. You've got... I mean, okay. Uh, I mean, generic, but generic, but true. Star Wars, you know, Star Wars Raiders, Godfather. But which Star Wars movie is the best one? Star Wars. Which, you, oh, yeah. Oh, episode yeah. four. Yeah. You no, know, see, Star Wars. Okay. You know, I'd say episode four. I'm old. I saw it in the movie theaters. You know, Star Wars. I'm um, an Empire guy. So. Yeah, you know what? Okay, Empire's great. It's right there with it. Yeah. It's right there with it. Yeah. Hey, but Star Wars can stand alone. Empire can't stand alone. That's, you know, that... You, you know, know what? I think that's that's why I give it always to Star Wars. Where's my where's my stop button? We're stopping this right here. He says that st- no. <laughs> you're right, and I don't like that you're right, but you're hundred percent right. It can stand by itself, and that's good. Well, you know what? We could agree to disagree. That's, no, you're right. What's your favorite comic book character? Who's your guy? Deadpool. Good an answer, especially with a lot of life right out there. No, but it just is. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, you know, I was there. I, I remember picking up the Beans eighty seven off the rack, which was uh, which is the first cable. I was hooked on that. It was a good. It was a fun teen yeah. soap opera um, at the time. Loved it. And uh, when Deadpool came on the scene. I'm like, where's where's his next comic? Where's his next? Comic? I need to ask him about why did he has all these uh, thingies on his leg. You ever noticed oh, that? Oh, you mean like all the pouches? pouches? Yeah. What's up? Okay. With well, that? you know what? It's funny is that he actually came out with a comic book this week oh, yeah. called The Pouch. A character called The Pouch that has all pouches and pouches and pouches. <laughs> There's a big gun with That's four awesome. pouches. Yeah. So you know what? That's if you're wondering about the pouches. You know, I think he could uh, answer yeah, that better than you yeah, could. That's absolutely. okay. That's okay. And then one last thing: you're a video game guy, right? Yeah, you mentioned I like video it earlier. Games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school Atari or Xbox 360? Which one? Oh, I would have said Intellivision. Good answer. Right on. But no, Good you know answer. what? You know, I, I mean, the, the the older games were a lot easier. You know, in some ways, and a lot harder. I mean, Donkey Kong is still like one of the, the hardest video games of all. It's time. ridiculously hard. I can't even uh, get past like level four. But uh, but but on the flip side, I mean, I don't think I have like dexterity and like. You know, my pinky, you know, like, you need to have, you need to have all of this work in it. You gotta and be I'm a guitar a, player. Yeah. Well, and, and I'm, and I'm old school, so. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. So, one last thing, and I want to close with this. The Comic-Con, the history, from beginning to end, why did you create it? How did you make all this happen? Because this seems like a lot of work. Well, my brother and I, we, we sold comic books at all these conventions across the country. And we've been doing that for 25 years. We established... Uh, the biggest new deal book dealership um, on the Comic Con circuit, and we have a whole bunch of booths at the San Diego Comic Con, which is like the Super Bowl for our industry. And we thought, okay, after doing this for so many years and building our Rolodex, see, I'm old, like that word Rolodex. That's a thing is, with uh, papers, and it yeah, rolls around. But it means contacts with, yes. with a lot of contacts. Yes. We thought, hey, we're going to start this, this convention. How hard could it be? And it's extremely hard. Of course. And we should have had our heads examined. Yeah. Our first event was uh, 2011. We put on uh, events all throughout the country, uh, but we have annual events in Hawaii and Las Vegas. Yes. So these are two fun cities that people like to go to, that guests like to go to. But more importantly, these are two underserviced um, uh, nerd communities. So is it a lot of work? Absolutely. Is it a lot of juggling? Absolutely. 
It's like throwing like a cake party, a wedding, family reunion, all at the same time, throwing it into a blender, hitting frappe, and hope that it works out. And uh, you know, we've been, we feel very fortunate. There's been a ton of guests coming through here each and every day uh, of the of the show. Plus, we've had uh, you know the guests have seemed have seemed happy, um, the vendors seem happy. So. You know, I think it needs all of it to work. I can say from being in here today, I think it's working, man. Well, at least they're saying nice things. Yeah. I guess they're saying nice things. Yeah. And I, I hope so. I hope everybody's having fun. Yeah. And that's what it's about because it's like it's celebrating pop culture together. Yeah. I mean, that's not just a tagline. It's something that we absolutely believe in. I totally like that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, I really appreciate hey. you taking out your time. No, not a problem. Thank you so much.